वेलकम टू द चैनल तो हेयर वी आर डिस्कसिंग द क्वेश्चन नॉट अ सबस्ट्रिंग ऑन कोर्ट फोर्स इज अराउंड वन फिफ्टी थ्री सो द प्रॉब्लम स्टेट्स दैट अ ब्रैकेट सीक्वेंस इज अ स्ट्रिंग कंसिस्टिंग ऑफ कैरेक्टर्स ओपन ब्रैकेट एंड और क्लोज ब्रैकेट अ रेगुलर ब्रैकेट सीक्वेंस इज अ ब्रैकेट सीक्वेंस दैट कैन बी ट्रांसफॉर्म इन टू अ करेक्ट अर्थमेटिक एक्सप्रेशन बाई इंसर्टिंग कैरेक्टर्स वन एंड प्लस बिटवीन द ओरिजिनल कैरेक्टर्स ऑफ द सीक्वेंस so examples are here like the bracket sequence like this are regular which are having the matching brackets and they can be transformed into these respectively and these bracket sequences are not regular so if you have a correct bracket sequence it would be something like this and the example of incorrect one the easiest one would be this as it is not a proper bracket sequence this is not regular and this is a regular bracket sequence so let's see what the question states now so you are given a bracket sequence s let's define its length as n your task is to find a regular bracket sequence t of length 2n such that s does not occur in t as contiguous substring or report that there is no such sequence so suppose our s is something like this bracket so what we want is we want a sequence t of length 2n so 2n would be here the n is length of this so length is 2 so 2n would be 4 and when we say Length is two n, so means we need four brackets. Whether open or close doesn't matter. But s should not occur in T as contiguous substring. Means if suppose I am taking that four brackets and forming this pattern. This is wrong. Why? Because this portion. Let me highlight it. So this portion, if you see. this is a part of s means this is s and s is occurring in t hence this would be wrong so what can be a correct solution a solution to this can be simply placing brackets like this so this can be one of the possible solutions and we can form the sequence so i hope you get the intuition of what we are trying to do here so now uh, what we need to output is we need to output if there is no required regular bracket sequence we need to print no else we print yes and required regular bracket sequence t itself in the second line so looking at the examples here for the first example we have already shown how it was done so this was the sequence that we formed and this is the output for the second one it is 3 n equal to 3 and we see that as n is equal to 3 it is not a regular bracket sequence and we can form brackets like in this and in this case it will not have this as a substring or a contiguous substring now in this case if we do like this so it will form a contiguous substring which is this portion hence we have not printed bracket in this manner rather we choose this one so now what to print how to print and where to print yes and no let's see through the code so i hope the question is clear now now going through the code we can see that first what we need to check is we need to check the length of this string okay so 
first of all let's take the first example length of the string is 2 here now we initially form a bracket sequence if the length is 2 so you know one bracket is length 1 other bracket is length 2 so simply what you can do take this bracket as a part of string and multiply it by n means this bracket is repeated n number of times so it will form r t which is of 2n because this bracket count 1 another bracket count 2 so the total would give us length of 2n so in this example the length is 2 so multiply by n multiply by 2 so we have this bracket two times so we have formed this as a t initially now i get this as a t but here the question does not end we need to check if there exists s in this as a substring or not so when we check we find that yes s is a substring here so you know that the bracket formation can be uh, mainly of two types one is this one and other is this one so now what we do is we check s is there in t or not it is there yes it is there so what we do we take one bracket multiply it by n plus the closing bracket multiply and this whole sequence will give us this output which is the, the correct answer so now let's look at the case where the answer is no so if i take this case so this is our bracket length is 2n so 2n is 4 we want our t as 4 so what is our first sequence this into n so this is one of the sequence it has this substring so if this is the substring then we form another sequence check when we form another sequence we see that here also a substring is formed s is there as a substring so when both the cases have a substring then we simply return no as this case and that will be our so i hope you all understand this solution thanks for watching